Hello, hi guys, my name is Sarvansh and welcome back to my the YouTube channel for Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Tutorial. So in this video, we are going to learn about how we can create a firewall settings and how we can deploy it. So let me switch to the MEM console. Okay, so here I am the Microsoft Endpoint Manager console where we are going to create the firewall settings. So if you go to the uh, micro uh, this is a endpoint security options under the endpoint security we have the firewall firewall option and now just click here the create policy so here is the three options windows 10 11 and the servers uh, mac and for the config mgr so let's select this option now here we have the two options windows defender of firewall and windows defender firewall rules so both are different let's click here and try to understand uh, what type of this rule will create so this will create the settings which we gonna test in this video and uh, uh, that how you can set up your the firewall uh, um, block unauthorized network traffic or how you can control your the uh, settings firewall settings now here is another option this will use to allow your traffic if your any application is blocking on a certain ports or uh, or your the any type of uh, application traffic or anything is getting blocked by the defender so that you can monitor through the um, security center with the advanced hunting and then you can allow it uh, here so by creating this firewall rule policy so let's get selected this option the windows firewall rule and now click on create so let me just copy and paste this now test so now here let's try to understand what are the option we have so we have the firewall and we have the auditing so let's see what is inside the firewall so disable the stateful FTP what it does so this is for stabling uh, to disabling the FTP connection the file transfer protocol so if I said yes that means is it going to disable it so let me say no and now here we have the enable domain network firewall and if I go to the uh, scroll down here I have the enable private network firewall and the third one is here enable public network firewall so these are the three types of connections when any of the devices connecting uh, uh, on your the um, network then it will becomes under the any of these types of uh, network like a domain and uh, your the private network or it will connect with the public network so here if your the devices get connected with the domain network so these are the firewall policies will apply to that machine so let's uh, first just go to enable this and here is a global port allow uh, user prefix merge mode so let's say yes and use inbound action for the domain profile let's say it's allowed and uh, disable the stealth mode uh, IPv6 secured so if I select it then it will disable the stealth mode for IPsec so if you click on the icon and you want to understand it more so you can click on the learn more you will get redirect to the Microsoft document which is here and uh, you can see this is a CSP like a uh, service provider document so it will redirect to this document and you can understand what is the mention here so it will give you the complete detail about your the policy which you are creating here so now let's move it to back and uh, now the disable state mode secure the packet exceptions so let me go true allow the ipsec policies merge say yes and the auth application preferred mode let's say yes the sealed is I can say not configure or it's on the false default outbound action yes it should be the allowed disable the inbound notification it should be 
false because I'm not going to disable this and disable the steel mode so I can say no I'm not going to disable it and disable the unicast uh, response to the multicast say yes and allow or the merge the firewall policy so uh, it can say like true so these are like we have some recommendation which setting should be yes or no so I, I will show you the policy I created now and the similar way we need to define it the enable private network firewall and uh, then the and uh, the enable the public firewall okay so and the finally we have here the auditing so auditing will be the success and the failure so let us review all these settings what uh, what is the recommendation from the microsoft i am just opened already i create this policy so i am showing this what are the settings you can uh, configure in your the production so now here is the enable true port level is true default inbound is true disable still is false allow uh, local ipsec is much not configured auth allow the preferred much false sealed false default inbound action is blocked uh, disable the inbound notification true disable the uh, steel mode false and disable this true so now I'm scrolling it's very slow so you can just make a note all these settings what is the recommended uh, recommendation for this production environment so now go here and all these settings you can uh, match it with your the uh, test environment once the testing is done then you can move it to the production the same setting so guys once you've done it then you can create this policy and deploy to the your the test group first let me go back to the my policy which we were creating so this is like a recommendation already i set up it because even i can't remember all these settings where should be true false true false like this so now go here once we all done with the settings then go to the next and uh, go to the assignment and now here we can assign the group where we want to deploy this firewall rule okay so we have here the firewall rule uh, is a group i created and i added the one device here for the testing so now just add it and here is a one device in this group now go to the next and by the all the policies are ready if you want to review it you can go here and you can review what you have set up in your the firewall rule so you can say in it if you want to change it then you can go to the previous and can change the rule if you want so once everything done then you can just click on the create so that policy will create and it will push it to the your assigned group so and later on once it done you can get the report you can monitor it from this console so let us complete the process then i can show you okay so here's the my test policy which i created today on the 9th and uh, you can go here and you can see in the report is the success error conflict so just now i deployed it so might it take some time to replicate the policy on the end user device if it is not replicated you can go to the device and you can start sync even you can do it through the console as well so here you will get the device name logged on check-in and filter and the last check-in time so you will get the status succeed error conflict not applicable or the in progress status from the device so guys uh, thank you for watching this video uh, i don't have anything much related to the firewall settings here so uh, i in the, my the next video i will be creating to how you can create the firewall rule or how you can allow the traffic like if any application is getting blocked on a certain port how you can track that and how you can create the firewall or rule so guys thank you for watching this video see you soon in my next video